welcome back to Finding Wendy. Thanks for joining me again on this uh, lovely Sunday cold day in Toronto. It's zero degrees, but it's a very special day, of course. It's Remembrance Day here in Canada, November 11th. And of course, I'm uh, thinking about my family and my parents and my grandparents. So anyway, I have thoughts of uh, updates, uh, so stay tuned. So, uh, first, my stats. Um, I started this journey back in uh, December 2017. I was 450 pounds. I started my liquid diet, OptiFast, on uh, February 20th, and I was 400 pounds. On um, March 20th, 2018, I had my surgery, my sleeve surgery, at Toronto Western Hospital. I was 375. Last week, I was 280, and this week, I'm 275, so I lost five pounds in one week, which is quite amazing. So I've now lost a total of, drum roll, 175 pounds, which is quite something, quite something. I Another 25 pounds to the 200 pound mark, but 175 pounds is nothing to sneeze so, about. So, um, not too much has happened this week. Of course, it's been a week since I've been back from California, and I really do miss California. I had such a great time, and I love the weather. And, um, you know, of course, my heart goes out to everybody in California, in Malibu, and all the other places that are suffering from some horrific fires right now. The fact that I was in Malibu just a week ago is really quite shocking and I drove through Malibu and now there are parts of Malibu that are on fire so that is very very concerning but anyways it is what it is I guess and like I mentioned today is Remembrance Day in Canada and uh, my grandfather actually fought in the First World War for the French my grandfather's French and he uh, fought in the uh, big battle in uh, Verdun so uh, and survived and um, so I'm thinking about him and then thinking about my parents who survived the Second World War in Holland. Holland was occupied by the Germans and in 1945 the Canadian Armed Forces liberated Holland. And very, very proud to be a Canadian right now because of the fact that the Canadians liberated the Netherlands in 1945 and had they not done that, um, I may not even be here. So anyways, um, some updates this week. Uh, for um, it's gonna be a short video I don't have that too much to talk about a lot of NSVs I've been doing a lot more walking and I'm um, uh, since I'm coming back from California I'm driving to events and taking my two canes and walking a lot more and um, some some interesting NSVs that I uh, am able to uh, fit in a normal wheelchair. I forgot to mention that in my last video. I don't need an extra wide wheelchair. And I'm able to reach now both feet. And um, yeah, so it's, it's, um, it's every day is getting better. And uh, I enjoy getting, uh, you know, dressed up for events. This afternoon I'm going to an event. And last night I was at my best friend's 60th birthday party. And um, that was a lot of fun as well. So anyways, uh, good news about the five pounds lost this week, and um, that's about it. I don't really have much more to talk about. I'll have more things to talk about next week. I'm just sort of getting back into my rhythm here, and I've been teaching uh, on my horn uh, to my students and just, um, you know, just trying to figure out things and uh, get get stay with the program. Oh, and last night, I forgot to mention at uh, this party, this 60th birthday party, I did practice mindfulness eating. And um, I had some chicken and I had some salad. And then for dessert, I had one small little lint chocolate. And um, I really enjoyed the chocolate. And I took my time with eating it. And I let it just sit in my mouth for a long, long time. And uh, that was wonderful. So uh, I really enjoyed the chocolate. I cannot lie. I love chocolate. But in the right portion. Don't go crazy and buy a whole bag of lint chocolates and eat them all. Just one. So anyway, that's it for now. Uh, thanks so very much for watching Finding Wendy. And we'll see you again next week with the next update. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>